If you go to a conservatory and you meet people there, you realize a lot of people don't have the ability to be interested in anything besides what it is that they're doing. Uh, and liberal arts schools sort of don't allow that. You know, it's not that you can't focus on, on what it is that you want to do, but it's that you can't be so close-minded as to make that the only thing that you know. I was able to nurture myself not only as a musician and an aspiring performer, but also as a person and as an intellectual because of the different assortments of courses that I've had to take at Wesley. I've taken writing classes about uh, Spanish literature, I've taken writing classes about uh, early 1930s um, film analysis, I've taken writing classes about uh, child labor in South Africa, economics, math, languages, culture classes, anthropology, you name it. I mean Wesleyan really, it, it has a class for pretty much anything and you don't realize how it connects to your own field until you do it. And then that's when you start making connections, especially when you talk about poetry and uh, literary analysis within pieces that you sing, comparing it to these writing classes and these philosophy and religion classes and really delving into the minds of people who thought in ways that are different than how we think now. It's difficult to do that without that, uh, that uh, deeper education, that deeper understanding of the world, not simply the music world. Liberal arts education, in my opinion, uh, provides you the ability to become a well-rounded uh, professional in your own field, as opposed to uh, somebody that only knows about one thing.